He overreacted. I don't think I overreacted. Definitely overreacted. He took my girlfriend. They weren't even going out. He met her when I did. Well, he took a girl who I wanted to fill that position, among others. He called me fat in front of the international students. I pointed out some areas of improvement. He insulted me about my mother leaving. And reminded him about the situation with his parents. I can't work with him. He won't work with me. Which is fine. I don't care. We have a meeting today. 11 o'clock. G23. Don't be late. What's this? Take a seat. Where are you already going to? I'm sorry. Okay, Luke, this is Jack, Rebecca and Pamela. They're Griffith Law students, so they're going to be sitting in on this meeting. Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. You actually don't have to answer that, if you don't want to. I didn't want it to come to this. Yeah, well, I'm not exactly sure what this is, so... Okay, well, we'll let you know if you just shut up for one second. Okay, as you know, we are splitting our budget. Now, I've drawn up a contract, so there's no confusion, but we do need to sort out the distribution of funds. This is what we are prepared to offer you. Seems fair. 40%. No, I'll just, I'll go with the 50 that you just put on the page, that's, it's a fair deal. Are you actually supposed to sort of work out what they'll take? And then you just sort of... Yeah, you're supposed to have an idea in mind of like a final offer, and then you you start at a lower percentage, and you just increase it until you get to the, you know, happy... Sort well, of that's what I've done, I know you'll take the 50%, so we can just sort of make it better for me Yeah, now. but you started with the final offer. Okay, forget it, forget the 50%. We'll start again. 30%. You're an idiot. I know I'm going to get 50%. Okay, first of all, don't call me an idiot in front of the law students. And second of all, you idiots are actually supposed to handle this. You didn't actually ask us to do anything. Forget it. You can go. You can go. Please. 20%. So yeah, we're making two separate ads this week. The Dean's happy about that because that means he gets two videos in one week. We will be pitching the ideas at the end of the week and he's going to pick his favourite. You yeah, remember how we said that we live at uni? Yeah, that's still going on. But since we had that little argument, Luke's moved over to G16. So I've been here in G31 on my own. It's okay because I've written the script, Vampire and Hearts, it's for the new ad. It's about vampires. So excited about that. What Luke's doing? Yo, dickhead. Hey, Luke. Yeah. Sorry about calling you dickhead. That's right. It's just habit. Cool. What's going on? Ah, oh, just kidding, mate. Done. You doing your ad? Yeah. Yeah, cool. What's yours about? Just Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's about Twilight. So. Similar idea, I guess. Similar sort of idea, but a different. Not a problem, though. What are the odds of that? Do you reckon? Us both doing the same. Pretty high, thing. I guess, considering we talked about the concept of doing a recreation. That. Back when we were friends. It was only last week. Yeah, those are good times, weren't they? Some of the best times of our lives, one would say. One might say. I have said. So why are you here? I like your beanie, man. Thanks. It's a nice beanie. Yeah, it just keeps the hair out keeps of my eyes while, while I'm writing, yeah. Yeah, while you're writing. Is that your, your script? This is my script here, Vampire and Hearts. It's pretty good. I gave myself a screen name, LJ Everett. Pretty cool. Yeah. Clever. It is pretty clever. Yeah. Uh, How's G31? It's lonely. Yeah? Not really. It's, it's, well, I'm the only one there. I'm alone there. I'm not lonely. I'm not the loneliest I've ever been. I didn't cry before. Didn't Much. ask whether you did or not. Well, I just thought you were going to say that. That's why my eyes are red. Because I've been crying. But I wasn't. Right. 
cool. I'll see you on the pitch day. Sounds yeah. good. Good luck with your ad. Yeah. You too. Thanks. Thank you for watching my pitch. Our student body of over 37,000 students and even students from other universities have bestowed our great institution with certain nicknames. While these can sometimes be derogatory, for example, Griff TAFE, Super TAFE, Griffith Institute of TAFE, and TAFE, there are also a few affectionate ones. And I think these are the ones we should be encouraging. So I've decided to focus on one of those while taking inspiration from a much loved book series. I hope you enjoy it and decide that it will be your out of choice this week. Harry Potter. Difficult, very difficult. Plenty of talent, I see, and not a bad mind either. But where to put you? Not Southern Cross. Not Southern Cross. Not Southern Cross, eh? But you could be great, you know. And Southern Cross will help you on the way to greatness. There's no doubt about that. Well, if you're sure, better be... Griffith Dog! Let's see where we're at. We have five campuses and over 37,000 students. Our student body is made up of government subsidised domestics and international students from over 156 countries. This includes school leavers, career changers, athletes, mathletes, single parents, senior citizens, doctors, researchers, dentists. Pretty much picture the most diverse group of people that you can and we've got it. But how do we get to them? We need something that's going to bring us together. Luke's effort, while he was trying a blessing for that, it doesn't capture everyone. Mine will, because I've found something that we can all get behind, something we all enjoy, something that I am proud to say will be the piece of literature that defines a generation. It is with great pleasure that I show you Griff Light. You're impossibly successful and clever. Your skills are recognised and respected. You earn lots of money. And sometimes you speak like, like you've got a really good job. How old are you? 22. How long have you been 22? Since my birthday. I know what you are. Say it. Out loud. Griffith graduate. Are you impressed? Yes. Thoughts? I'm not impressed. It's a blatant rip-off of my favourite movie of all time. Yeah, but that's like the idea, because it's supposed to be like a appropriation of Twilight. No, it's a rip-off of Vampires Suck. Your favourite movie of all time was Vampires Suck. Vampires Suck is hilarious. It's a masterpiece. At the end, I cried. But you said the same thing about ours. I cry all the time. I think I've got a condition. That's true. Now, I wouldn't say it was horrible. It was just a little unoriginal. I think you could have done better. We're going to go with Luke's ad this week. Thank you so much, sir. That means a lot. That's great. Well done, Luke. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, I haven't hidden the fact that I think this project is a complete waste of money, but on a purely creative standpoint, yours was 10 times better than anything you guys have put together. I wouldn't say it was 10 times better. It was good. It was really good. Actually, I loved it so much. At the end, I cried. <laughs> you didn't. You're not even crying. I was before, shut up. <laughs> Luke, well done. Bring on next week. Speaking of which, I've emailed your brief 
Yeah, get out of here, you scamps. Go on. Out. What was that about? His ad sucked. I actually didn't mind Elliot's ad, I thought it was okay. Uh, it obviously wasn't as good as mine, because it lost, but um, next week we have to invent a competition for students, just something to get them involved, and um, yeah, it should be pretty fun.